let's learn about Kruskal's algorithm. Kruskal's algorithm will always produce for us a minimum cost spanning tree on a graph and it's very efficient at doing so. So let's go over the steps. One, select the cheapest unused edge in the graph. Step two, repeat step one, adding the cheapest unused edge unless adding the edge would create a circuit. Then step three, repeat until a spanning tree is formed. So let's go apply Kruskal's algorithm to our graph to find our minimum cost spanning tree. Step one, select the cheapest unused edge in the graph. All right, so our cheapest unused edge I see is all the four, A to B. I select A to B right there, and we got a four. I'll keep a little note here. A, B was selected as a four. Then let's repeat. Let's find the other next cheapest unused edge, right? We already used this one, A, B. Next one I see is A5 right here, E to A. Select that. Boom. Doesn't create a circuit. We're good. E to A or A to E. And that is a five. Now, what's the next cheapest unused edge? That would be six here, E to B, but that creates a circuit. Can't use that one. Let's go to the next one here. I see D to C or C to D, however way you want to write that. That's a seven. So D to C gives me a seven, and I can highlight that here with all the squeaks. All right. Next, next number I see, I can't use six again. We already use seven. I see an eight. A to C, does that create a circuit? Nope, doesn't create a circuit. It's the cheapest one. So let's we'll highlight that. A to C here. I'm running out of marker there. A to C is an eight right there. And now we actually have created our minimum cost spanning tree. We have hit every single vertex. We are connected to every vertex and we haven't created a circuit there and we have actually the minimum cost spanning tree. We can add up all of these numbers here and the total weight is equal to our eight plus four, which gives us a 12 plus a seven gives us a 19 plus five is a 24. So we have a total weight here of 24, and we found the minimum cost spanning tree using Kruskal's algorithm. I hope you learned something here about Kruskal's algorithm and minimum cost spanning trees. And as always, thanks for watching.